Rock doesn't get any love. People talk about Rock is dead, but all of a sudden everybody wants to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> it's a good thing we're not on TV anymore. Sorry. I, I can't. All right. I think I we can wrap up this segment. <laughs> good night, everyone. We'll see you next time. <laughs> because I want to know why is, why is country kind of like the go-to? When you're a rock star or you're a pop star, but you decide you want to do that. something right. different, you arthritis, go easy. country. <laughs> no, but you got people. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna push you off your stool. No, you no, gotta no. get that casting right. You yeah. gotta get that writing right. It's not just going to the Wikipedia page and filling the whole fucking thing up with facts that didn't happen when they did. Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Told you, loved it. So you're a kid in the '80s, and Prince is your favorite, and you hear, "Oh, really, Tom Jones? Yeah. <laughs> yep. You want so badly to hate this yep. guy, everything sure. about him." Really Really, and he killed it. Yeah, I, we, we, you couldn't. Have, you're, you're trying to not like it, but you end up <laughs> loving it. Like, how am I gonna explain this to my mom? <laughs> when it comes down to it, if there is a flute on for like 15 seconds for a fucking song, do you need a flutist on the stage? <laughs> no, you don't. He's like, like, all right, bring in Phil. <laughs> Play the flute, Phil. <laughs> Phil the flutist. Phil All right, the flutist. see you, Phil. Yeah. And then they continue with the song. It's like, yeah. you don't need Phil. Okay, the, the age-old conversation, the age-old debate, David Lee Roth versus Sammy Hagar. David Lee Roth was Ooh. nothing but swagger. Sammy could hold a tune. I'm sorry, but the band got kind of boring then, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So I think the swagger, I think the swagger turned them into a party right. band. There were Sammy. so many Metallica fans that got pissed off about the use of Metallica in Stranger Things. Right. And I just cannot process mm. how rock being in the spotlight, Metallica making more money, continuing the rock thing for, you know, eons more with another generation. I don't understand how that's a bad thing. Like, what are you pissed about? Like, they're like, oh, this is so out and all that stuff. Like, I don't yeah. understand. I know. Aren't we trying to keep rock alive? Hey. You know, I, I hate to say this, guys, but <laughs> you want to know who's really responsible for these ridiculous prices? Who? We are. Oh, because we uh, continue to pay them? we continue to pay them. <laughs> I know. You know. I don't. I mean, it's like, because uh, one of the things we haven't talked about is uh, theme parks. Until oh. we get to a point where we go, you know what? Enough's Fuck enough. this. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. And enough people, yeah. if they, you know, if, if a venue sits half empty, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden they're going, you know, because it's supply and demand yeah. Yeah. is what it boils down so like, to. Yeah. Britney Spears, you know, it's mm -hmm. just like no one really is at Britney Spears show for her vocals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's, 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 Hold up, let's get Let's get it straight. <laughs> you've got Aretha, <laughs> you've got Aretha <laughs> Franklin. You've got Britney Spears. No, but, but, no, but, but, but Britney Spears. And it, Girls, Girls, Girls is on, and you can imagine what's oh, on, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. on stage. Uh -huh. I mean, this is like 86 <laughs> or 7, something like that. And so as I'm walking back out, they actually closed with it that night. And as I'm walking back to the van... I see this woman who's completely naked, passed out, shaved head against a tree. And I was like, that's crazy, man. That is so awesome. <laughs> yeah, we may have moved on. I just have one comment about the Motley crew. I was offended during Girls, Girls, Girls because I'd heard oh, so yeah. much about it. They were wearing robot suits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that Were offended. they sexy robot suits? <laughs> Not enough. I've, I've heard stories <laughs> about Girls, up. Girls, Girls, yeah. and that was frankly disappointing. <laughs> so I want to watch that complaint. As a response to the dude's complaint with the city, I'm out. That's all I have yeah. to say. <laughs> to, be Valid fair, point. to be fair, Dennis, I agree. And I'm looking at this, and I'm just like, man, you know, I'm a fan. I'm, I'm, I'm hanging in there with him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna be there. And I walked out of the theater going, for the very first time, my all-time musical superhero let a brother down. Wait, you mean mm -hmm. Bat Dance didn't do it first? Right. <laughs> yeah. Bat Dance. That was the preview. <laughs> I don't like it. I, I want to see the band. I came here to see the band, not to see your phone. And me, being fun-sized, you know, if I get... <laughs> I, I get I get some six foot motherfucker standing in front of me. I can't see a thing. Hey, and Gary, I do you feel attacked right it. now? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no offense. No. Yeah. Should have uh, bought a better seat. Yeah. So this all started um, when I opened my phone one morning. I woke up. My eyes had just opened. I opened my phone and Facebook is there. And the first thing I read is someone in the music scene here in the Bay Area ripping by name another band because their music sucked and it wasn't like one line and it it was a whole diatribe mm -hmm. about how terrible they were and how embarrassing their musical choices were 
I cannot even tell you how enraged this makes me. And putting yourself on a pedestal bullshit and ripping each other in half, thinking that your music is the only music that anyone should care about. And not only that, naming people mm -hmm. by name. You're putting them on blast on social media. How dare you? I think she jumped the shark at Hard Candy. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it wasn't it, feeling it. No, she she, yeah. she tried to. She, she's like, oh, well, I reinvented myself here. Now I need the I need the 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 urban audience. So I'm I would actually go back to erotica. I would go back to erotica. Uh, wait, I, actually, no, I would disagree on that. Yeah, because I do think erotica is a decent oh, album yeah, yeah, for no, what she was well, trying to do. Good. I agree with Hard Candy specifically because at the age she did it. Honey, you're not a girl anymore. Yeah. <laughs> girl gone wild. No, 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 no. <laughs> the best debut album of all time that also became this group's creative peak. It went all downhill from there rather immediately. Girl, you know it's true. Oh. Yes. Millie Vanilli. Wow. That's exactly. That's right. You nailed it. Yeah. Millie Vanilli is the best debut album of all time. You are shitting me. I'm not even... <laughs> Girl, you know it's true? Yeah, that one. Blame it on the rain? I'm familiar yeah. with that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean, you like that? Yeah. Clean it up, Joe. Clean it up. You got, girl, I'm going to miss you. Wow. I, I okay. just see myself, my, my 87 that Honda be CRX. Before you had any musical Jeez. taste whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Loudest car in Pacifica. We you would need that loud girl, to drown out the music. You. Representing. That's all I got to say. Yeah. No, one, no one's representing terrible music uh, taste. Anyway. Okay, Joey Mac. <laughs> I love I'm you. getting a contact high off of Joe, apparently. Uh, Jesus. Uh, That's a Joey do. I, I, kinda, Joey do. Hey, I, I was like, listening to some Dave Matthews, who I adore, um, and... I was it. I was singing a song, and you think you know every crackle, every pop, every breath, yep. every everything, right? And all of a sudden, I flash back. I know that song with the Napster blips in it. Oh, that's yes. funny. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> because whenever oh, I, right. I was in college, Napster yeah, was a big yeah, thing. Yeah. I was in my Dave Matthews. Oh was, my god! I was in the heart of that phase. So I had all the songs, but they would have the internet blips, and so like I still hear them. You know what that's I mean? dope. I and I, there's a caveat to mine. But I can't stand Karen Carpenter. And and I can't stand the Carpenters in general. And I love Christmas music, but when Carpenter's Christmas music starts, <laughs> I, I violently have to turn off my stereo. But here's, what? here's the caveat. Karen Carpenter was a badass drummer. drummer. Thank you. I and was about to just get up and no, walk out. No, no. I will watch. <laughs> okay. I will watch Karen Carpenter play the drums all day long. But as soon as she starts singing any of those frickin' songs, I am out. <laughs> okay, I, can I just pile on to this? This is it, this isn't my opinion, but I I don't like Christmas music. <laughs> so there you yeah, go. Yeah, that's true. That's there's true. Like, there's so like, be sure to tune in to I, Soundwaves <laughs> Christmas <laughs> coming to you soon. I, all I gotta say is you guys are all wrong. Uh, okay. You guys are all wrong because there's only one artist who's not gonna let you down. Great, Millie, Millie, Millie Vanilli. Rick, <laughs> Rick, Rick, Rick Astley. Thank oh, you very much. Oh wow. Okay. It's, it's right there in the, it's right there in the <laughs> lyrics.